have to have delusional faith. Let me tell y'all a story real quick. At age 13, my family had constantly been evicted. I had never finished a school from start to finish. I really, really wanted to. Church invites us to a community Thanksgiving dinner. It's at a local high school. It's not local, local. I mean, it's about 20, 30 minute drive. It's not in my district. So let's make that clear. It's not in my district. Get there, we have a good time. I'm like, oh wow, this is so cool. And then I notice a hallway in the school. In this hallway, on the wall, there are all of these pictures of students that are excelling at whatever they're doing. Captains, presidents, you name it, they're on there. I turned to my family and I said, I'm gonna be on that wall. I'm gonna go to the school. Nothing about me at that moment spoke student leader. I fought people, I beat people up and I had fun doing it. It was November, we ended up moving in the summertime. I believe it was August. Where I moved, had I moved a couple houses back, I would still have been in the district that I came from. I want y'all to really understand this. <laughs> because of the location of my home, I got to go to the school that I wanted to go to. While I was at that school, my face was on the board all four years. I was captain of the track team. I was captain of the winter track team. I was president of the Bible study club. There were only 12 to 20 kids on that board. Usually, they just had one, you know, title on there, and then they stayed up for, I think, a Mommy? semester or half the year. Mommy? I stayed up Mommy? all year, and I had Mommy? three titles on mine. Something about my current circumstances said, oh, yeah, girl, that makes sense. No, my mom did not go out of her way to try to get me in the district. She didn't need anyone to, because cause God did. Okay. So, stop looking at where you're at currently and ask God uh, for what it is that you want. Tell him nine. what he's going to give you. Now, now listen, listen, listen. If you're over here telling him you want to give you a million dollars, he's going to tell you, girl, you don't even know how to pay your bills on time. So why would I give you a million dollars? Make the desires of your heart aloud, even when it doesn't make sense. It doesn't have to. That's not how God operates. He does the impossible. Do y'all know about dry bones? Do y'all know about the woman with the issue of blood? Like, do y'all know about this? In your Bible, there are so many stories that back up what I'm telling you. This is not just me coming to tell you, hey, this is... No. There is evidence. That God does exceedingly above all we can think, ask, and hope for. So before you try to get down and out, before you think you're not qualified for the experience you desire, speak life and say, I will have this. If you have a need that's not met, I will have this. God is going to give it to me. And keep moving like he's going to give it to you. Go about your day as if you have it, because you do.